babies, it's Barbie. On today's episode of Barbie and the Cave Band, we're gonna make something delicious, acorn squash. We are going to stuff it with some wonderful organic chicken sausage with apple and walnuts and all kinds of wonderful vegetables, so stay tuned. So the first thing that you're going to do, of course, is to take your acorn squash and cut it in half. Now, you cut it in half this way, okay? Now, really you can cut it either way you want. Let's cut it the other way, just for something new. Now, an acorn squash is a tough thing to cut. So, you want to really make sure you got your, whoo, your knife aligned, get your fingers out of the way, and split away. Now, these seeds are going in the garden because my fall garden this year will feature all different kinds of squashes and pumpkins. So I'm very excited to, of course, get these started. So then I'm going to take a spoon, hollow out the insides, and I'll show you what to do next. All right, Kavies, so I've got them all nicely and cleaned out. Now I'm going to put a little bit of ghee in each of the sides, just about a teaspoon, just to give it a little bit of fat and liquid to cook. All right, so I'm gonna place them in a shallow baking dish, and I'm gonna use a little bit of Himalayan sea salt just to kind of crack over the top of each, and then a little bit of olive oil just to go around the top layer. So here we go. See? Now, I'm gonna pop it in a 450 preheated oven for about 40 minutes, right, till it gets really nice and soft and bubbly. You wanna make sure that it's fork tender. And I'm going to cover it first with aluminum foil so that it can kind of marinate in its own juices. Here we go. So I'm gonna pop it in and I'll hop back with you and show you the middle part. Oh, the filling is just so good. So see you in a second. All right, Kavi, so the next thing that we're going to do is create the filling for the acorn squash. It's gonna be amazing. First, we're gonna start off with six links of this organic, free-range ch chicken sausage. And it has like apple and maple syrup in it. It's really low carb, but it's really very delicious. Let me tell you, the egg can't get enough of it. He eats three or four every morning with a scrambled egg and a little bowl of fruit. It's crazy. So they're really, really great. Now we're also going to use some walnuts. So I have a little pizza plate. And I'm just gonna pour them out here on the pizza plate and spread them out. I'm gonna take some cooking spray, spray over the top, a little bit of salt, just a little bit just to cover them. I'm gonna give them a good shake. I'm gonna pop them in the oven too. Now, of course, the um, acorn squash are roasting, but I'm gonna pop it up on broil just to kind of toast the um, walnuts and allow the, the squash to continue to bake. So, I'm gonna do that, and then I'll hop back with you and walk you through the next steps. All right, guys, so that's in the oven. So I have my little bowl, and I am ready to, woo, Squeeze one quarter of a lemon over the sausage. Give it a good shake, set it to the side. And I have some just yellow onions. I'm going to just nip off the end of some of the onions. Gentle tenders, tendrils. Some of the gentle tendrils of the oven. And I'm going to chop them very smallly. All right, I'm going to use one shallot. So, of course, one shallot. Of course, I'm saving all the extras and the byproducts for the broth, the vegetable broth that I make. All these things add wonderful flavor. It's fantastic. All right, pull its little skin off. <laughs> you hardly get it. Uh-oh. Are 
just gonna chop the shallot. Place that in the bowl. Now, of course, the shallot saves us from actually using a whole onion because it, of course, has a really oniony flavor, but it doesn't need to be cooked to become tender like a, a true onion does. Oh, I hear egg and they're egging them on. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to add a handful, not even a handful, just a smidge of craisins. Now, I don't really like to use craisins, of course, because they're very sugary. And I just couldn't find anything that was not pre-sweetened. So I'd really like to use like unsweetened cherries or something like that, but I do have some dried plums. And so I'm gonna augment that with some dried plums. Oh my goodness, I may have to go and see what is going on. So I have four dried plums that I'm just going to cut in half and then of course chunk into very small pieces. So now I'm, I'm chopping the plums very, very finely because of course the um, plums have another name. They've been renamed plums, dried plums, but my mother and my grandmother has always called them prunes. And so we know what that does to you. So be very careful with how much you add or you and your guests may be fighting over certain accommodations in your home. Here we go so far. Hey Katie, so we're back and we've got this mixed so far. Now I have a stalk of celery and I have pulled my toasted walnuts out of the oven and they are amazing. I'm so excited. So I've got my little chopper here. I'm going to scoop them under the rim and just chop them coarsely. Knock it into the little bowl, layer it in. I'm very excited. Just layering it in. And then the celery I'm going to have. And then I'm going to third the bottom bit. Right? Just to make sure that I have very small celery chunks going through it because the celery taste is really amazing, but to bite into just a piece of celery is terrible. Well, to me, those of you that eat raw celery, more power to you. I can't do it. And here we go. So we're just going to mix it with our hands to turn it to combined, which is perfect, of course. So here is our stuffing for our acorn squash. All we're waiting for now is for it to be fork tender. We can stuff it and it'll be perfectly ready to put in a container for this week or to serve for dinner. Your choice. All right, well, I will see you in a bit when the squash is. We got the acorn squash out of the oven. I'm going to grab one, hold it in my hand, and add the stuffing. Look how lovely that looks. So add half the stuffing, really pack it down in there, like so. Now we're gonna do the other one, and then we're gonna put it back in the oven, and it will be totally done once everything is heated through. We're gonna cover it again, pop it in the oven just till it's hot, and then serve it right away. All right, from my family to yours, from my cave to your home, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Barbie and the Caveman, and I'll see you later. Bye.